everybody, what's up? You're watching Rock and Roll Report TV. I'm Leah, and I am here with Naomi Nectar. How are you? I'm doing great. Now, Naomi just played a show here in North Hollywood at Skinny's. First time here? Second time. Second time. How'd it go? We're really excited to play here because we play a lot of the bigger clubs in LA, like House of Blues and the Whiskey and the Roxy and stuff like that. But you know, sometimes at those shows you end up spending more money than you're even gonna make. And at this show, we spend nothing and we get paid. And you make money and you get paid. Imagine cool. that, an independent artist getting paid. In Los Angeles. Right. That's true. Now you've got some of your band members here with you. We've yes. got Richie and Brandon. We've got Richie Rockstar, my <laughs> guitarist extraordinaire. Say hi, Richie. How you doing? <laughs> I've got Brandon, my bass player. Hey, how's he it going? He gets down. Now you've been performing as Nectar for how long now? At least eight years. Eight years. And Brandon has been with you for about five, six? Four. Four years? Yeah, about four years. And Richie, you're, you're newer to the band, right? One. About a year. Okay. But now I noticed you unveiled a couple new songs tonight. Yeah. And a few times you had mentioned that Brandon wrote one of them. There were a few times where you said, we wrote this. So the songwriting is a collaboration. Yeah. Um, Brandon and I wrote Corellian Blue, which we previewed tonight. And Rich and I wrote American Dream. Um, those were the two new songs we previewed tonight. We have some other songs in the in the show tonight that we all collaborated on, but it's pretty cool because we write together. <laughs> recording your first studio album right now, right? Well, I'm or recording my second it? album second? with these guys. Your second album with these guys. Yeah. And how's that process going? Where are you at in it? We're almost finished. We need to mix and master, and we really want to mix like a classic way on a classic board with everything that's like original from the 60s and the 70s, but... We need money. Financially, we may not be <laughs> able to afford it, so we're a little scared about mixing in the box, which means like all on Pro Tools on the computer, mm -hmm. but... Budget-wise, no one out there is gonna know. A mu anybody that's not a musician, this isn't really a hard sound. This is on digital. I think we might have to go the digital route and like come up more to the modern age. Anyone with iPod like get it done? Know. It does seem that a lot of bands this this day and age are trying to go back to analog and and try to do it that way, it, which is which is really cool if you sure. can do it, you know, and if you have the funding. So if anybody out there, Rock and Roll Report TV land, wants to help these guys. Uh, do it that way. Well, the coolest thing is we recorded it all on vintage gear. Nice. On a vintage board, you know, the whole deal. Well, let's let's speak to that. I, so, can, have, can you do you see do you see these guys just you know take a look at them. We range from like 1967 <laughs> to like 1979 kind of around there. But, you know, we might have to we might have to update our 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 sound, you know, and and mix, you know, in the in the box to just be able to afford it, and that's cool because we already recorded all in vintage gear. But that's the heart of your influences, yes. The '60s, the '70s. We've got Janice and Jimmy, and that's that's where you drive most of your inspiration from. Yeah, Janice, Jimmy, Led Zeppelin, Jefferson Airplane, uh, Fleetwood Mac. I mean, the list goes on. Anything that's semi-modern, um, Lenny Kravitz, The Black Crows. <laughs> is you go to see a lot of bands they're up there they're performing their songs they're jamming out but with Nectar it's a party I mean typically it's tonight was a little if you if you're watching the footage tonight was a low-key laid-back show we had one backup singer 
typically you have three dancers up on stage, you have a couple backup singers, you have costumes galore. It's like Las Vegas on crack. It's an experience. Or maybe Las Vegas on acid. <laughs> Probably acid. <laughs> a little too loud. We've got those theatrical <laughs> voices that just project naturally, which is something that I wanted to talk about. Not only is Naomi an incredible singer and songwriter and performer, but she's also an amazing actress. Yeah, I mean, so just for the Rock and Roll Report viewers out there, just so they know, I mean, what's going on with your acting career? What have you looked to right now? Are you chose? Well, I've just finished some independent films, you know, and of course we hope they'll get on the big screen, but a lot of times artsy theaters around the country and they may do like a cool little like independent theater There's a lot of people that are singers, songwriters, musicians. You are an entertainer. Like, you really are, you know, and you know that. She's a choreographer as well. She choreographs the dancers and the dances. She's she's a costume designer. She puts together everybody's wardrobe and costumes. You can't be in her band without Miss Naomi's approval, you know. She shapes it all. And so I just wanted to thank you for taking the time out, for having us here thank tonight. You. You're welcome. So make sure you check it out. That was Nectar.com. You're watching Rock and Roll. Leah Simone TV. rocks. Um, Ha, 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 ha.